Welcome back to episode 3 of STG Sheet, you beautiful people. Start this episode off, we are in an interesting situation. So we have nine man hunting hares coming at us. Which shouldn't be too deadly, he says. If we can hit them, we should be in a good shape. So that's two of them down, so there's only seven left. They're fairly grouped up, so hopefully we can catch them with some stray shots. But a slight issue that we do have is we only have 133 rounds of 6x24 left. We start off with a thousand and we definitely don't have a thousand left. So I'm not sure what's happened to the rounds. I have heard um, stories of the traders coming in and traders will pick the ammunition up if it's off the ground, if it's the gun that they're using. But that might not have happened. Either way, not in the best situation when it comes to rounds. So as pointed out, what we do need to do is start a loading bench. This will be able to supply us with the rounds because we picked up the shotgun earlier because we knew that we were going to run out the rounds of the charged munitions. Having the 12 gauge rounds for the moment should leave us in an a okay situation. We're not going to be in the best one. And we also need to put in some more storage because we've got quite lucky. So we'll just chuck that there for the moment. Not in the most optimal situation, place. Oh, we'll go for placement. But. We had some Asari's come through and it turns out the Asari's got in a fight with a polar bear, went down and has dropped all of these goodies. Some extra packaged survival meals, always happy with those, extra medicine we could do and they dropped a Phobo suit helmet. Now it's not as good as the helmets that we have but it's still a very good bit of kit and it's going to sell for a decent amount. A thousand gold, thank you very much. Twelve components, that is pretty good as well. So all of this is going to be good, we're going to be able to sell it. And they got some XL staffs. Not that's anything that we really want, but something that we do need to keep an eye on is I believe it's down here. Yep. We haven't hauled in the marksman rifle. So I think what we're going to aim for is we'll have the sniper rifle as our primary. Then when things get a little bit too close, we'll swap out to the shotgun. And I think that's about the best we're going to get for the moment until we can get a battle rifle. Once we get the battle rifle, we are going to be able to fight at range and then fight fairly close. And this episode. We need to get the kill zone sorted. Because as soon as anyone shows up with any weapons, if they just tag, tag Paddock, it is going to be pretty much game. Because Solarians are super squidgy. They go down quick. And yeah, we've basically got no one to heal. So if he gets knocked down, GG. This is Iron Man and this is Combat Extended. So <laughs> very little room for error. Storage is set. So what we'll do is we'll just copy that and put that into here we'll let him finish the rice harvest and then we will start looking into getting some more steel and once that rice harvest is done let's get the guns in actually before that let's get that rifle in because without that rifle we are in trouble okay prioritize hauling that and then we'll get to the work on everything else since it looks like you'll be here for a while paddock thinks you should give your faction a name what should your faction be called well we're just going over stg Paddock also thinks you should give the settlement a name, what should this local settlement be called? So we're going to call it Black Site 22, and yet again, if you know, you know. Auto saving, and then we've also had a Wanderer join. Yeah, not a thing. Firstly, you're not Solarian, poor hygiene, ravenous, and slowpoke. Good medical, social, intellectual. No. What's this? Okay, yeah, we'll take your, um... Muffalo wool. Drop that. Drop that. Drop your gun. Drop all of your supplies. And what quality is this? Poor. Okay. Not too fussed about that. And see you later. So, so far, Paddock has moved a bunch of the things around. We do have this set. We're just going to get some more steel for this. And today, we are going to go out and get all of these brought back into the base because these. Are definitely going to be worth it and I think priority is going to be the Phobos helmet okay can't carry it anymore cool so yeah we want the Phobos helmet then we also want those components they're going to be super important Fortune Tribes they're dropping in if we had a smelter that would be super useful because then we'd just be able to break down these bits of metal okay close range and frag grenades will we get back to the base before they do is the question why are you carrying a rock you weirdo probably because i had it selected cool move down 
Try to catch the Vorcher out in the open. Now the thing with Vorcher is if you don't kill them straight out, they don't stay down. They heal so quickly that they will just be able to carry on this fight. Well, generally they run away when they get back up. But if they get to the base, they love using grenades and they love catching things on fire. Which obviously isn't what we want, that would be super bad for us. But it looks like they are going to get in before we do. And what are you aiming for? Attacking wooden horseshoe pin, that is fine, we can deal with that. We're going to start running low on ammunition soon. Let's pull around this side so we have an angle. Actually stay out in the open, they've only got grenades. I'm going to try to take this forger down. Okay, they're dead screening us, let's move so they can't get the angle. And let's go again. Come on. Headshot still going. Reload. You need to get those shots off. Cool, first one is down. Second one's fleeing. No point wasting the ammo on that. And let's go and melee to death. Otherwise, they're going to get back up. As for kit, mm, nothing too interesting. Gorman coordinated, iron wheeled, psychopath, and composed. Decent enough. Keep hitting it. And eventually that Porsche will go down. He says. There we go. Done. We'll cancel the rocks because last time he went and picked one of them up instead. Which obviously is not what we're after. We got a little bit of pemmican and a grenade. I don't think that's going to make or break this playthrough. But having a little bit of extra food is going to be a good thing. And next thing that we want is we definitely want the medicine. Okay, cannot pick up. Why can't you pick that up? You should be able to drop that. And drop that. And now let's see how much we can get. Cool. Did have some visitors come through, but it looks like they were not ready for the weather at all. So they all died. Giving us an extra 52 pemmican. Don't mind that. And also a whole bunch, whole bunch more meat for paws. But what we should do, as soon as we are getting quite a few corpses, is we're going to extend this area down if we have enough blocks. Which is looking like we will. And then all of this area is going to be the storeroom. And then Poise is going to be able to get onto all of the bodies. Otherwise these are going to deteriorate over time. Which is just a little bit of a waste. As soon as we can just keep the dog fed like that. We are mining some more stone down here. Well some more steel. And with that extra steel we can get that reloading bench done. And then hopefully we can get some rounds full of sniper rifle. And then a bunch of shotgun rounds as well. It's not going to be a massive amount. But it should tie us over. And we also have a few things that we can sell and trade. So maybe in this episode we can pick up some power armor, which would be amazing. Retail trader from security forces coming in. So fingers crossed they have something decent for us. As for what we can sell them, a whole bunch of bear meat, but we kind of want that. They can have the bear skin though. A whole bunch of useless weapons. Some clothes, they can have those as well. Now this is pretty good, a Polaris shield belt. It's not going to keep us alive, but it will take the edge off being shot because it's going to be able to take a couple shots before it goes down and it's a shield belt that you can shoot through. So let's figure if there's anything that we are going to be able to sell them. I think they get the bear meat. We'll keep the rice. We've got enough components. We should have enough packaged survival meals to hold us over for a while. We're straight out of steel. Oh, i got a plan. Go there. Anything up here that's left? No, they got... we got a boar coming, so we can definitely kill that off. Nope. Okay, they got one parker over here. No, I, I don't think that's going to make a massive difference somehow. Allow all. We'll keep hold of the pemmican just so it's food. There's also grenades and some silver over there. And a bit more silver here. So maybe, maybe this will be enough. Okay, 2,386. We're keeping those. They can have that frag grenade. We'll sell the shirt. Okay, 101. Not bad. And the Polaris shield belt is now ours. That is going to be awesome. It won't survive any sustained fire, but a random stray shot, which probably would have killed us off, shouldn't take us out now. So that is an awesome start. Phobos helmet and a shield belt already. 
and there's a mad polar bear which is going to come down here and it's just going to get in a fight with the security force and the security force will take it out meaning we don't need to waste any ammo dealing with it which I'm completely okay with and one of those muffalos got shot got shot again bleeds out in 17 hours okay another one got hit by their own friendly fire bleeds out in four that might not get off the map I'm not sure if we want that to happen though that's a whole mass amount of resources so yeah brilliant but then that's also going to spike our wealth and we might not survive that one way to find out the muffalo has gone down okay and where's their trader oh, okay their traders run off if their trader had stayed then we could have just sold it back to them then we would have had a bunch more silver but you know not bad i am all right with that pretty much straight after that we got an Asari coming in, and we've also got a Drought. Drought doesn't affect us because, well, we've got Hydroponics. But if we can trade with the Asari, maybe they have something decent for us. I doubt it, but this is all in the home area now, so actually cancel that. Allow all. And now let's trade. We've got plenty of medicine. You can have our staffs. The marksman rifle's ours. You can have the shirt. The other rubbishy clothes. We're keeping the helmet just in case someone else comes along and needs it. Now they do have an anti-material rifle, 50 cal. Might be a bit overkill for what we're fighting, but <laughs> it's a wicked, wicked bit of kit. Long range cooldown on it, but if you can just one, one shot things, it does make a massive difference. And yeah, I think we just sell off what we can and don't worry too much about the rest. Horse unfortunately now has the flu. It is not going well for him. So flu is 1.8 to immunity of 1. Yeah, that is not great. Paddock is heading over, so Paddock should be able to attend him. And hopefully we can fight this off. Like, Paws is our only friend at the moment, so we don't want him dying. Okay, we are just ahead now. So long as we can stay on top of it, Paws should be fine. It's going to be close. But Paws will make it. He says. He might not. But let's hope he does. And let's get these inside before these uh, start to deteriorate because four advanced components is nothing to sneeze at. Same as 160 neutral air, I mean. With the loading bench sorted, we can build 50s, which is super good. But what we do want is we want a couple 12 gauge. Let's go buckshot at the moment. So we get 200 for... 10 steel that's gonna be fine and what we'll do is we're doing two acts so we'll make sure we always have 200 in storage let's bring that down okay let's go up okay you can't click 200 apparently we'll go 190 that'll be cool that'll save us uh, the extra tw extra 10 steel at that point that's done then we just need to put one more storage in and I think we're looking like we're in a pretty good situation that is not bad going once all of this is sorted, we can look into expanding and then we can start breaking down some stone chunks. With stone chunks, we can make a little kill zone. And it is only going to be a little kill zone because we're going to have a shotgun. Uh, shotguns have decent range in combat extended, but not amazing. It looks like we've got someone else coming in. So there's someone else from the security force. Haven't got anything to trade, so nothing much we can do with them, unfortunately. And we've still got the corpses. Yeah, there's a lot going on and we have a lot of stuff, so... Let's hope we can stabilise before we get overrun off the back of it. Pause is doing okay. So 51 immunity to 46 flu. So I think he will survive. We have a okay amount of steel now. Not a massive amount, but a good amount. And with that, I think we start to expand here. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. We go granite. We do forever drop on floor. And then we bring the radius in quite a lot. So he'll just catch the stuff that's around it. We'll create a dumping zone. So we can hold a fair few granite chunks. So we clear all, go down chunks, and all we want is the stone chunks for the moment. Got some rounds of shotgun coming out. Yeah! I am liking how this is looking. This is looking good for us. First rice harvest of the episode also is coming in. So I think we're doing okay on food. Seeing as food is probably... <laughs> yeah, it's the biggest issue on our sheet. So we've got food... The doggo's surviving. We're about to start building some defences. 
And because we had the rich explorer start, we can build mini turrets to start with. We will go with the military turret because it has double the ammunition capacity. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create actual hard points that the turrets can shoot out of because we've had a couple opportunities now for pristine ruins. Obviously Paddock's only by himself so he's not going to be able to carry much but he will be able to carry some stuff and hopefully we could pick up like some things of value so either gold components or advanced components because those are the things that we're going to start hurting for. Snow hair has joined. Snow hair is now dinner. Come back. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Paddock mate you're ruthless. <laughs> With what we're thinking for the defences, is those mini turrets are going to have some pretty wicked range. So I think three of them should be able to hold down the fort for a while. And the idea is, is they're all going to be able to support each other. So this one here is going to be able to support these turrets if anything comes up onto the walls. Same on this side and these ones are going to be able to support across. All wall down there will have the entrance. So they'll be at any one point unless they come through this bit. There'll always be two turrets that can shoot them if they come through here. There'll be three turrets. This bit too, along here, will be two. Unfortunately, coming around here, if they come this way, there'll be two turrets. But if they come along there, that'll just be one. So we're going to need to find a way to maybe put a little wall in here so it forces them through that bit. And then the turrets are going to be able to nail them from a distance. But that is the start of the defences. We do have a solar flare coming in, so we're not going to be able to do too much with that. So unfortunately, we did lose that rice harvest. Even though it looks like Paddock was just getting it whilst this went off, so that is fine. We have 109 rice. So we are holding on the rice front, and soon, once his skill goes up a little bit, so he's now at 3.85, once he gets a little bit higher, we'll start producing actual decent meals. And checking over the marksman rifle, it is 7.62x54. So let's go and make some 7.62x54 rounds so that we actually have some extra kit and we can build AP rounds nice and we get 500 of them okay 499 and how much will that cost us 28 steel they're not as effective against things that aren't in armor but this is combat extended if you get shot you get shot it doesn't matter if it's a hollow point or an armor piercing round, it still messes you up. And what will the penetration on that be? Which is going to be worth a look. So AP is 14 millimeter, so take down most mechanoids, won't take down a centipede, and won't take down anyone in decent power armor. But anyone in standard armor or flak armor, it will just shoot straight through them, which is going to be awesome. But as you can see, the damage is 12 versus 20. But yeah. Not a massive problem. And as we are on the crossover, and so we don't get too distracted, let's drop the shotgun, we'll get Paddock to equip that. Then he's going to automatically reload. And he has 180 shots of buckshot, which puts us in a nice situation. And the first dangerous raid has come in. They've got a power armor helmet, so a diplomat helmet, which is a decent bit of kit. Tactical vest, which would be nice, that allows us to carry more equipment, but they also have a famus. It's not saying what rounds they're firing, and this is a, a drill. Cool. We can deal with that. So I think what the plan's going to be... We do have the shotgun, so you would be able to get in close, but they would blast us apart before that happens. So we're going to drop the rifle. Do we have any rounds of ammunition for it is the next question. Yes, but they're in the storeroom. Right. Equip the marksman rifle. If you would care to hurry paddock, that would be great. Drop the shotgun. Drop the rounds. And then... Let's say... How many rounds can you pick up? You can only pick up eight. I hope you're a good shot and you don't hit him in the helmet. Otherwise, you are in trouble. He's coming in quick. Should have stuck with a shotgun. Okay, cool. Where can we hold off? He's coming in on the inside, so I think we go against the wall here. Draft against the wall and hope we get an angle. Yeah, he's coming on the outside. He's out in the open. Come on, Paddock, reload and shoot. Miss. Miss. 
Paddock is firing, but he's not doing too well. Okay, got one shot off, two conditions. Okay, another one. So that's what I mean. So that's only two rounds. So that was three shots. And we get a diplomat helmet. Yeah, buddy. Well, we do have a better helmet. But to be fair, if he was in any armor, we would have got spanked. And now we have a famus. For some reason, that guy spawned without any weapons. We will take the tactical vest. That's going to be useful. That's going to allow us to um, carry more ammo. And then we'll get the rest of this in. And... Do we want to be friends with them is the question. No, he's been out and now we'll leave him to die. Impadic, how many rounds can you hold this time? 792 rounds this time around. Cool, that's not bad. Got a lone one son coming in. It looks like... Oh, no, cool. I, was, I saw the links and I was like, oh, no, it's going to go attack this guy. But it's not. It's going to eat that body. For the moment, that's not a problem. Let's go set off some of the junk. So we don't want the famous. Let's get rid of some of the beer. Let's get rid of the shirt. Get rid of the diplomat helmet if we can. Get rid of the backpack. Yeah, they don't want the helmets, unfortunately. So we can't get rid of those. We've got rid of pretty much everything that we want. Herbal medicine we're not interested in. Any of that stuff we're not interested in. We've still got some pemmican. But that is an extra 300 but we've now got a shuttle crash and sometimes you can pick up decent survivors all the saris yeah we'll leave them we got more important work to do than trying to go and rescue them however this is super good a sorry bulk's good trader they normally have decent things on them he says hoping so you can have all of the nutriamine we're not going to use that we're way away from being able to use that at all you can have the cloth, we're not going to use. You can have all of the levers, we're not going to use. Medicine is ours. Do have a whole bunch of steel, but we've got a bunch left on the map. You can have our jade. All of this we need to keep hold of. And other than that, you don't have anything that we want. Good that we're able to get rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't want. Our little defensive perimeter is coming on. We will need to reinforce down here, otherwise sappers might tunnel through. But then if we're fighting sappers, there's only going to be like a few of them. Or we can definitely just wait around the corner with a shotgun and shoot them in the face. We have changed the design here. For the simple reason that it's going to give us a better field of fire to defend each of the points. So you have the hard points here. Which means that we put a turret in each corner. Then we're going to have a way... <laughs> we're just going to be able to shoot more. And more bullets does... Does more damage, I guess, for lack of a better term. Shooting more is better than shooting less have a transport pod for Maverick coming in so we're going to do the best that we can we're going to help Maverick pass over a little bit quicker so we're just going to take all of their clothes so they freeze to death and then we're going to take their clothes away from them we will need to bury them or something otherwise we're going to get a constant mood debuff from it which obviously isn't what we want but then if we just leave the body out here any predators that come onto the map are going to eat it so Paddock how, how attached are you? Colonists died, observed a corpse. Your friend Maverick died, you never even met them. Weirdo. Cool. Nah, I think he's going to be alright. Other than seeing the corpse, so let's get that one hauled inside nice and quick. So, prioritise hauling this, if you would kindly. Got an exotic good trader from the security force. Now, here's hoping they have something for us. Polaris Restorer. Not a bad bit of kit, bunch of architect stuff. And a psychic pacifier. That could be super useful. Not right now, but later on that would be. Could get a school trainer and cook in. That wouldn't be half bad. We don't want to get rid of the helmets just yet, because they're decent helmets, so when we come across someone that can use them, we're going to want to have them. I think a school trainer and cook in is going to be our best bet. Because if we get food poisoning, we are in a lot of trouble. Bio decoder would be quite useful, but we're holding well on food, doing well on components. Yeah, I think we just get the skill trainer, use that. So we're at cooking of four at the moment, and now we're at a cooking of ten. That is going to solve 
all of our food poisoning problems. Not that we had it, but it was only a matter of time until we did. And we did get a gift from the security force. They gave us a wolfskin formal vest. We had a bunch of visitors from the Grey Dane clan. And they gave us 455 great arrows. And how much do you guys sell for? Not a massive amount, but seeing as there is a decent amount of them, there might be a couple hundred if we're lucky. Finished off the outer walls. We are not going to have enough components and steel to be able to create the necessary wind turbines and then batteries and then turrets in. But for now, this is going to give us a very good place to defend from. And I think that is the plan for next episode to get a bunch of turrets and increase our power. We are working on the microelectronics. And I think probably from there we need to look into mortar and then gas operations so we can get some bigger, better weapons. But with that, I need to bring the episode to the end. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Conti. I look forward to catching you on the next one.